let's just take a second and understand that sometimes when you DIY, things don't go the way you plan. So that's exactly what happened. And that's okay, you take it step by step. If you mess up in the end, you go back and you think, okay, that didn't work, what can I do better? And that's exactly what I'm about to do now. So this is round two. I'm just gonna show you that I can create this pot, okay? I can, so let's go do it. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making concrete pots and I figured it would be perfect time to take you guys along with me, show you guys a little bit of my plant side and DIY side. Let's just get right into it. Coming at you from an after record because I didn't describe what you needed, but I have that bucket and the eight inch form tube because I'm putting the eight inch form tube in the bucket to get the pot that I want. That's why I have my jigsaw there to cut the form tube and you don't really need wax, but I wanted to have the wax so I could put it in the bucket and reuse it. and just have it be a total loss. I pressed pretty hard on the bottom here and it seemed like something popped down, so <sighs> let's see. Oh, no. That would be the entire bottom. Well, we can chalk this guy up to a fail, but that's okay. Next time, we'll let it cure for a little longer. Just gonna let this cure. You can see how dark it is still. That's why the bottom fell out. It's take two, like I said, I failed, right? On that first one, the bottom fell out because I was impatient and couldn't wait just a little bit to have it cure a little longer. And I think I found a better way to create the form now that I did fail that first time around. So I have that same bucket with, you know, the little lip that I had to cut, a small circle, and this I'm gonna try and attach to that little cardboard piece. I want to use some silicone to secure or seal the inside of here around the inner portion of the tube. That way nothing will leak in like you saw how I had some spill through with the first form that I created. Hopefully this will be a good workaround. I know many of you guys might not have these items. 
you can just use uh, the two the grow pots like I was saying just one item has to be larger than the other because the other one's going in it but this is just a way I'm trying to figure out how to go about reusing items as well I don't want to just trash a bunch of items so let's see how this one works out this is how she looks I put a bead of white silicone down there on the bottom and then again up here never know they're from the exact same bucket you would never know I'm big on not using single-use plastic items and that would have definitely been a big single-use plastic item so to be able to make sure to reuse it all good in my book but I really do I really do like them and I hope you guys like them too so that's it for this video you guys give it a like or a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you can catch some more DIYs with me and I'll catch you guys in my next one.